Hello. In this example, we're going to show you how to raise an estimate or a quote and send it to one of your potential customers. Um, so here we are on Sage One. Um, to get to this section, we uh, simply go up to the Sales menu item at the top left and click on Quotes and Estimates. And then you'll be presented with a list of any existing quotes or estimates. Um, because this is a demo account, we haven't raised one yet. Um, so we're just going to create a new uh, estimate. Um, if you wanted to do a new quote, you just click on the new quote button to the top right. We're going to do an estimate. It's a new estimate. Same, similar button, top right again. Then we just simply work through the fields that the, uh, the software is asking for us. So first off, it's asking for which customer are we going to send this estimate to? So if we click on the drop down box, we can then select from our list of customers if they're already recorded. Um, if not, we could add a new customer at that point. I'm going to do this to a customer limited. And I'm going to say the quote or the estimate was raised on the 1st of October and it has an expiry date of a month. If your potential customer has given you a reference, then you could enter that here. Um, so we'll do uh, verbal. Uh, we'll say Steve, for example. Then it's pre-populated the customer's address and their delivery address. Uh, all from the records that we created in an earlier video on how to populate a customer uh, account on Sage One. Then we move on to what it is that we're actually quoting for. So uh, if you have stock of services or products enabled on Sage One, then we could simply click on here and just choose the item that we're trying to uh, raise an estimate or a quote for. Uh, but we haven't got that enabled, so we're just going to write that in the description box here. So we're going to say uh, calculators. Then we choose the nominal where we would like this sale to be posted to if it actually gets converted into a real sale. Um, and for this example, 4,000 is fine. Uh, we're going to quote for 10 calculators and we're going to quote at £5 each. We're not going to give any discount and we're going to apply 20% VAT to this estimate. So based on that, uh, it's worked out that the VAT on that amount of calculators at £5 each will be £10. We can then add some extra notes down here if we like. Uh, so hope to do business with you soon. And we could also apply some terms and conditions if we wanted to, if we pre-populated that, but we're fine for this example. So if we scroll down a little bit further, we can then press send, uh, we can then press save and just save it and print it out and send it through the post. Or we could say save and email. And if you're jumping onto a service like Sage One, uh, save an email is the best way. It's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to brand up that estimate with all your logos and your company details. And it's going to pre-populate some wording uh, into your email, as can be seen down here. This is just the default. <coughs> and then what we can do is just press send. Um, so just to run through what it has actually populated, uh, it's brought in the customer's email address based on their customer record. We could CC somebody in by default if we wanted to. Uh, it's attached the estimate as a PDF attachment. So if we wanted to look at that, we could click on this uh, hyperlink here just to get a visual of what that looks like. Uh, with this being a demo, not all the bells and whistles are attached and uh, fully branded up. But as you can see, for very little effort, it's put a little estimate together. So I'll just close that. It's brought in a subject header, which is very personalized, given the amounts and uh, raise dates, expiry dates. And it's put in some extra text here. Again, this is just the default uh, wording produced by Sage. You could have this set up any which way you like. From here, we just click send and that estimate or that quote will have gone off to your customer. And hopefully they'll get back in touch with you in a few days to convert that to a sale. So hopefully that's helped, guys. Uh, but if you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.